<laughs> Shall we load? No. No. They are probably releasing some kind of a version, new version, or, or seriously. Like while we record a video, <laughs> Nuxtjs.org is going down. Are you kidding? <laughs> What is up? Welcome back to another Team Tries. And I know I haven't done one in a while, but we're back. And so in Team Tries videos, I try out stuff without actually knowing it before. So I kind of rely on my experience. I try something out and I give you feedback along the way. So I'm speaking with Jakub Andrushevsky. No, I'm not sure if I said that name correctly. I do apologize. But when we start our interview, I'll just ask for his name and he can say it properly. Jakob works at Fuse Storefront and he built this really cool Nuxt 3 Algolia module. And so in this video, I'll be interviewing Jakob a little bit and then we'll just dive into the code and work with his module and he will just guide me through it. And I'm really excited to see if this is the way forward when using Nuxt 3 and Algolia. All right, here we go. Um, so before we go on, can you just say your name the way it's supposed to be said? Because in the intro, I probably butchered it. <laughs> no, it, it wasn't that bad. So in Polish, we say Jakub, mm -hmm. but it can easily be said in an English way. So the Jakub one also works ah, okay. as well. And your last name? Uh, Andrzejewski. So I suppose okay. this one will be much harder. Ah. Anyways, awesome. Thank you for that. <laughs> sure. um, and so... Let's talk about what you built and what we will be showing together on the video. So what did you build? So I built a module that allows Nux users to easily connect to Algolia, which is quite popular search engine. So by implementing in a way, implementing the module in a way that Nux does it for other modules, it allows you to very quickly jump into the Nux project into like connecting the Algolia to it and having a really, really fast search experience. So how about we just try it, right? So I'll just start a new project and I already have an Algolia index and you just guide me through it. And for this video series, I don't prepare, I just give my feedback. And especially because this is a new Nux3 RC release, not a lot of people have used it but you already made a whole module. So I just want to see how that feels, how it works and how to get started, right? So sure. let's just share my screen and we start from basics, like there's nothing. All right, so we're literally starting in my websites folder here, there's nothing. So to get started with the next three projects, we go for this, right? And then in it, that's it. So let's get started and it's just ridiculously fast, isn't it? <laughs> this is just it's amazingly there. fast, I would say. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I do think we need to install, so let's do that. Sure. Ah, the next package, next project comes without any installed yeah, dependencies. Exactly. So always remember to run, run yarn or npm install. Exactly. In the beginning. So let's just open this and see what we have here. So we just get like a next welcome and our convict, but it's it's all empty. So let, let's just quickly run this and see, see what we have. Again, so fast. It's really fast experience. <laughs> yeah, Support of Vit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so this is what we received out of the box. And of course, this is getting started, but we need our Algolia stuff, right? So. Um, before we go into code, I actually have an Algolia instance here because I've used this before. And I even have here, you can see it, a videos index. So we all know I like to make videos. We're in one now. And so basically <laughs> um, this is not all my latest because I haven't used it in a bit, but this is like 60 or 65 videos. So we can use this as the search. Um, however, we need to get started, right? And so this is the docs that you have written. Yeah, we just exactly. go like this so we can see it a bit better. And let me zoom in just a little. Here we go. So um, let's just get it going and start installing things. So the process of adding Algolia to your next project is relatively simple. You only need mm -hmm. to add one dependency, which is the Nux.js, at Nux.js slash Algolia. Yeah, and, and that, that already happened. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. And basically just register it in the modules array, just like yeah. the one 
in the example. Well, let's, let's do that now. So what we need is modules. And of course, we don't have any options right now, but that's not going to happen. Right? Not right now, we need a bit more. Sure. We need two, two things from our Algolia admin dashboard, which are the search API and the application ID. Yep. And I'm already quite intrigued because when I look at this, it says light is true and instant search is true. And so because what I know when I used Algolia, it was like super heavy back in the day in view two. It's like megabytes of JavaScript that came on my page. And so when you add light here, what does that signify? So basically the light option is uh, disabled, like enabled by default. So you mm -hmm. are only fetching the, the code from the light version. And so this API key, I will invalidate it after the video. So it won't help you to steal my <laughs> API key. Um, however, this is only a search API key. So it doesn't mean that you can change my index with this. However, it will go away soon. Anyways, so now we've added this and we're going to actually, we, well, nothing happened for now, right? Because we need to add something in here. Exactly. I imagine yeah. it's a setup script. Um, I am, um, let's see, you probably have written something in the docs for that. And um, usage. It should be in the usage, yes. Yeah, so let's just go for this use search composable. I imagine that's a good place to start, right? Exactly. This is the, the most basic and the most default search that you can. Awesome. You would need in your application. So when I do this, um, let's talk about what a composable is, because I think between us, that's quite clear. But is that, how do you feel that um, others, like, is this like a really common thing by now to use composables? Yes, I would say that the um, approach to use composables is quite popular right now. Mm -hmm. Basically, if you look at other modules that Next.js is currently producing, like Next Community or the fully community modules, like the ones that are not part of the Next Community organization, mm -hmm. they all use some sort of composable. Because yeah, because you, you do listen, async stuff here, right? Yeah, exactly. So exactly. if you yeah. uh, call the use search, and may maybe I will just explain step by step what is going on here. So yeah, what maybe we, we do in the line eight is that we are calling the use search composable, but we are not only calling it, we are also passing a parameter. And yes, the parameter inside, did. yeah, which is the videos here, it is a the index name. Mm, yeah, so this is that index. So these are my exactly. videos here. Yeah, exactly. So what we do here is that we are, let's say, covering some of the parts that were common for all applicate Algolia search functionality. So you are passing the index here, and on the left side of the equation, you have this. You are destructuring two things: result and the search. Search is just the search functionality, search method, which is, as yeah. you already saw, asynchronous. So what we do here is in unmounted lifecycle hook, we will asynchronously call search method from the use search composable, and we will pass a query with some, some, some well, uh, of course, word or sentence. Next, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly, because we are doing a video about next. <laughs> yes, exactly. And this is just a method that is asynchronously calling the Algolia API. And what we have in the second destructured property of your search is the result. And this is the reactive property that will be populated after the search method is fulfilled with the data from the uh, Algolia API. Okay, so. so what we can do right now is just what you are doing here is just to display it in our template and see exactly. what it contains. And the cool thing is here that your use search system here makes this one reactive. So you don't have to do that yourself in the setup function anymore. That's really handy. So let's just go back to our local host then. It's so fast. There it is. It's very cool. And it already works. And so, wait, let me just quickly see what we did here because it, it already works. It's really fast. So we just queried next in my videos index. And the result is now that I received some hits. 
And so can you tell me in what it is searching right now? Is it in the title, in the slug? How does that work? So basically it searches for a query. So some mm -hmm. appearance of a word in all your indexes. So Which is no matter what, okay. No matter what. And look, you can already see here that it found it in this case, the highlighted result is actually the title. Look, and they highlighted it with like an emphasis here. So it's really cool that you get that back as well. Let's have a look like what other feature would you like to show me based on what we have now? What is a good start? Okay, so I would recommend to try out the view instance search okay. in support. So what we'll do here is we will add here instance search. Instance search. I'm oh. not sure if there is auto completion. Yeah, I thought search. it would actually do that, but it didn't. We are in type, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, but it can be the new version because next we recently released a new version, release candidate. Exactly. So not all, let's say, scenarios are covered yet. Yeah, so sure. But open up a documentation site with the view instance search, uh, Algolia dot not Next.js. Uh, you have it already. Yeah, there we go. Exactly. So it should be. Um, <laughs> shall we load? No, no. They are probably releasing some kind of a version, new version, or or something. Seriously, like while we record a video, <laughs> nextjs.org is going down. Are you kidding? Me? <laughs> okay. Well, um, how about you just tell me what to do? Sure. So for instance search, you would need the. It is an object, and inside of an object, you would have a property called theme. Yeah. And inside of it, there is a property theme and set it to string Algolia. Right. A few moments later. All right. Um, we have the code and I'm just going to put it in here. And then the index exactly. name is videos, but we're going to do it like this. Uh, and I think and you made a typo because if it video OS. So, Oops. No worries. And we also, what we need here is to have the search client. Yes. So what exactly. we need to do here, what we could do here is to use another composable called, called use Algolia. And you can just call it like const Algolia equals use Algolia. I love that it auto resolves um, all these composables. Makes it so easy. Sure. And okay. yeah, and that should be it. Let's see how the result looks like. And so we browser. get a search box and we get hits. Well, let's see. Okay, something didn't work or... Oh, suspense, async uh, stuff. That shouldn't be an issue. Is, it, is the project running? It should be running. It is running, but... Okay, so... Approximately 10 hours later. So view free slash yes. No, no, with view oh, free. Oh, okay, sorry. It's longer, yeah. You mean like this? Yes. Or like uh, this? Uh, AS, yeah, yeah. And try this one. Yes. So, so it, welcome to the everlasting ESM import issue. But it's fixed. <laughs> I love it. We did it. Yeah. So it doesn't look great, but it already comes with some kind of, let's say, styling. And I think we also need to import the, let me just check. Actually it works this. really well. Yeah, yeah, it works, but it okay. also should come with the CSS. Let me just check. Ah, we probably need to separately load that in now as an import as well. Uh, instance search dot CSS dot CSS slash themes slash. Uh, like this? Uh, yeah, algolia.css. Yeah, and let's Two see. Two times CSS? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is the name of the package. Nice. Yeah. So, usually, side note, this is done automatically. <laughs> yeah. But due to the fact that, as I said, the, the way of importing changed to the recent release, it now, mm, yeah, you need to, to do it that way. But it will be fixed, I promise. <laughs> but 
it actually worked really well, even though, like, this is the thing, right? We're in flux now between Nux 2 and Nux 3 and few 3 packages and few 2 packages and ES imports. Um, it is the way it is, and it works. So, dude, I really want to thank you, because if you just do your default out-of-the-box search, it works like that, and that's what we want to see. So, yeah, try it out, and also build on top of that. That's what I did. And I really I enjoyed that. Wait, I, I I really want to dive into this and do a bit more with it. So, anyways, thank you so much, Jakub, and um, hope to see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.